Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, let's take a look at it, the uh, holiday forecast. You know, I wish it was a lot more cheery. I wish we were talking about uh, cold air, dry conditions, going out to look at holiday decorations. But, you know, if you try and do that this evening, it'll be too tough. Rain, wind, thunderstorms out there this evening. Temperatures in the 60s, so uh, tonight might not be the best night. And I prefer that a lot of people probably deflate those big blow-up uh, decorations because they're going to be blowing probably either in the neighbor's yard or maybe even down the street. We already have strong gusty winds. They're going to get worse this afternoon and evening, there's going to be a high impact from that. Localized flooding is possible. Isolated tornadoes will be possible. Again, this is most likely in the evening. It's possible in the late afternoon. And uh, we got that wind tide effect from the northern Albemarle up to the southern Virginia Beach. It's starting to increase. So the warm front has moved through. Now we're warm from here on out. <clears throat> we got winds out of the south, and some of the gusts could be up to about 40, maybe even up to above 40 miles an hour. We got a strong cold front back to the west, and boy, temperatures, they're different on this side of the front. They're in the upper 60s here. We're almost to 70, and teens in Chicago and single digits in Minneapolis. So get ready for a blast of cold air tomorrow. But it's not coming in all at once. I mean, it will arrive tonight. Temperatures will drop down to the 40s after hitting 70s today. And tomorrow, though, that's when you'll really notice it the high temperatures in the 40s, mid 40s, and that's it. Matter of fact, temperatures might drop to the 30s later in the day. Now, so far, we've only seen a couple spotty showers. There's not much right now, a couple spotty showers to the south, but things are picking up west of Rocky Mountain. Some heavy rain is out there. Those are slowly going to move to the east. So we had a couple spotty showers around earlier. Right now, things are quiet. There's not much out, uh, except maybe a sprinkle or stray shower. And that'll be the case for the next couple of hours. Now, we take it to 3 o'clock. It doesn't look like much. I do think a couple of isolated showers will be coming up from the south. But watch what happens. 3 o'clock till 6 p.m., things really pick up and move east. So now we got scattered showers and storms inland, and uh, well, we got winds out of the south already gusting to about 35, 40 miles an hour. So some of these storms could produce winds, severe winds, over uh, maybe over 60 miles an hour, possibly. Now we go into the 8 o'clock hour, and we got this line of showers and storms, strong gusty winds, heavy rain, maybe an isolated tornado in the region. That kicks out. We get a second line here forming. That'll be the cold front, but this one won't be as stormy. This one will probably just be heavy rain and some wind with it. That'll change our wind direction. It'll be more out of the west and southwest, and the rain will kind of wrap up by tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow looks okay. We got partly cloudy skies. Winds will be a little breezy out of the west, maybe even windy. Some of the gusts could be at a 25 to 30. And I think we're going to see a few sprinkles and flurries out there through the day because a strong upper level system will hang back and give us that chance. So, our winds today gusting 35, maybe up to 40 miles an hour. In a few locations, it could be between 40 and 50. Our model's kind of hinting at that possibility. So here's 6 o'clock, and especially along the coast. Now, even inland, we'll have some gusty winds. The front comes through 11 o'clock tonight. The winds start to change, they'll turn out of the west. And then tomorrow, we'll have that westerly wind. These are the gusts, some of them up to about 25 to 30 in the morning. I'm hoping they die down a little bit later in the day, but definitely some strong gusts in the morning. Now, today, high temperatures, low 60s in Melfa, upper 60s, Hampton and Gloucester, but low 70s, Williamsburg, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, 72, Currituck, warm and windy, increasing chance for rain, and then storms by the evening. Winds out of the south, 15 to 20, gusts up to 40 miles an hour. Now, tomorrow, we'll see highs in the 40s, maybe even dropping in the 30s by the afternoon. We'll have mostly cloudy skies, maybe partly cloudy for a while, and some sprinkles and flurries. Saturday's dry and quieter, 41 degrees for the high, lows in the 20s, by the way. And then 50 for a high on Sunday and partly cloudy. All right, so on the positive side, maybe some flurries on Christmas Day. Thanks, Jeremy.